welcome to my channel today I am gonna be showing you guys how to make pizza we're gonna be starting from the pizza dough so first we're gonna make pizza dough and uh, for the pizza dough these are all the ingredients we are gonna be needing so we have yeast over here this is one pack I always use these individual kind of sachet because they're always like fresh when you open them up they don't go bad like the other ones you know once you open the pack and then after a while the yeast doesn't work so uh, always try these ones uh, if you have that problem so uh, these are the individual sach sachet and uh, in one sachet you have like eight grams of yeast I have some lukewarm water here um, so I'm gonna be putting the yeast in here uh, and I'm also gonna be using um, sugar this is a half tea half teaspoon of sugar so I'm gonna be adding that that helps the yeast to rise other than that I have um, salt over here this is one tablespoon of salt I have some all-purpose flour uh, this is um, six cups of all-purpose flour I have uh, some milk which is optional it's uh, one cup of milk um, but it's optional it's just something I like to add it to my pizza dough because it makes the pizza crust really really soft kind of exactly how I like it and I have some oil here and uh, yeah the oil is around um, 10 tablespoons so since I'm making a like for large pizzas that's why my quant quantity is like you know um, bigger over here but if you guys uh, want to make only one pizza or two pizza you guys can uh, you know cut the recipe instead of using six cup of flowers you guys can go ahead and use three cups of flowers and you know just cut all the ingredients as you guys need it um, so I am going to start making the yeast here so as you guys can see I have lukewarm water here and I have yeast here so first I'm gonna add the sugar and let the sugar dissolve mix in the water now I'm gonna add yeast mix it really well so once you mix your yeast and sugar together you have to cover it up with something like a plate or something so and let it sit for about five minutes so you guys will see after five minutes this yeast is gonna be all uh, rise in um, like foamy kind of so that's exactly what we need and after uh, five minutes I'll show you guys how we're gonna go through the rest of the recipe so stay tuned okay so let's check on our yeast if it's done so yeah so as you guys can see it uh, it's all foamed up that's exactly what we need to, um, if the yeast is not good it's not gonna foam up like this so that's exactly uh, what you are looking for for the pizza dough um, in order for your dough to rise um, I'm also using today food processor uh, it's just I'm using it today sometime I use food processor uh, I already have my dough blade in there uh, sometimes I just use my hands, uh, but sometimes I find it easy if it's a large quantity. Uh, and I'm also using this big huge bowl, because uh, since my dough is going to be a lot and then it's going to be uh, rising and uh, doubling in size, so I definitely need a big bowl. Uh, I also have some extra water here just in case I need. Um, so yeah, I am going to be showing you guys um, all the steps how I make the dough. So first I put my salt in here and just kind of mix it a little bit. Okay, it's all mixed in. Now I'm going to add my flour into the processor.
and then we're gonna use our oil our yeast and now we're gonna start mixing them up so I just put um, oil flour and salt in the yeast in here I didn't add the milk yet first I'm gonna give it a little go and then I'm gonna add slowly milk as much as I need it So at this stage, I am going to be uh, putting a little milk, a little at a time, um, through the feeder. So the milk is going to go through this feeder into the dough. going to be adding a little bit of water it's around one cup of water I add a half cup and I'm gonna be slowly adding a little more as I need it so my machine is really loud so I just you know did it mostly off the camera but I am just gonna show you all the ingredients are still here I just added that half cup of water I didn't add more I just I'm maybe gonna need a little bit more but right now I'm gonna check the consistency and yeah I just want to show you guys how I did it off the camera <laughs> So as you guys can see my machine is really really loud so I didn't want all that noise so it's almost done and I'm happy with the consistency I'll show you guys so yeah that's exactly how but it's still sticky and I'm gonna be uh, getting it out and kneading it so I'll show you guys how is that so I got my dough out of the the food processor and it did a decent job it doesn't need that much of kneading but I'm still gonna need it and I also so this big bowl I al already put some oil and you can just use your hands make sure to wash your hands before and uh, yeah just so the when you put the dough in here it won't stick So now we're gonna use some dry flour just sprinkle your counter with dry flour and just take all the dough out put some more flour on top this dough is really good it doesn't need that much of work but it's still a little bit sticky so so yeah that's it it's good to go and that's it so you just take your dough and put it in the bowl and just wrap it with a clear wrap and I just like to put it in in the, in the like I just turn on my oven for a minute and then I turn it off so then this dough can stay in some place warm and yeah I will show you guys when the dough is all rised and we're gonna start making pizza after that so after an hour uh, my dough is ready and all my other ingredients are ready for the pizza so I'm just gonna take you guys through um, there is um, the cheese shredded cheese and uh, this is my pizza 
I already showed you guys the whole process of how to make the pizza dough. Um, so it doubled in size. Uh, these are the, the tomatoes, um, onions. Uh, I have red and um, white onion mixed. I just like the flavors like that. Um, um, olives. And uh, here are some uh, peppers, green and red and yellow peppers are mixed. Uh, I got some mushrooms over there. That's the pizza sauce I am using. Um, and I already greased one pan. So I already greased it and it's ready. I have over there um, some dry flour. So the dough I showed you guys, um, I am making four pizzas out of it. So I can't show all of them on uh, this video, but I am gonna show you guys uh, one pizza, how I do it. So this is one uh, ball of dough. So I just simply make it like a round ball and just with the help of my hands, I just kind of um, spread it like this. And then I just, with the rolling pin, I just spread it so it doesn't have to be exactly round or like perfect So as you guys can see, the crust is perfectly in the pan. Then I just put my sauce on top. And finally, I just put some cheese on top.
So here it is, that's how I'm gonna go ahead and make the other um, three pizzas. And I'll show you guys. I already preheat my oven to 350 and uh, it's gonna go usually around um, 20 minutes sometime I just give it 15 minutes and it's done so check it after 15 minutes um, if it's done if I'm happy with it I just I can just you know get it out so check it after 15 minutes if it needs some more time just put it back for five more minutes but it's usually done around in between 15 to 20 minutes so yeah that's how it is and I'll show you guys when it's done so here is my pizza that's how it looks like when it's done so it's all baked um, and as you guys can see the crust is really nice and soft so I'm gonna cut a piece for you guys So that's it for the pizza. Uh, I hope you guys like it. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys later. Bye!